All right, folks, who's ready for the Spotlight Series? Come on. All right, now it's time. We're going to see Bob Powers operate the D6XE with expert Sam Meeker here on the side. During the Spotlight Series, get ready to learn a lot more about what the D6XE can do and the technology it's loaded with. Take it away, boys. All right. Thank you, Rutledge. Welcome, everybody, to Operator Stadium. Happy to see everybody here on a nice Wednesday afternoon. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get ready to fire up and start the demo up. All right. Jeff Pirro, uh, where are you at? I need you. I need you in the tractor. Sammy, I'm right here, buddy. No, no, seriously, I need you to get out in the dozer, dude. Where are you at? Sammy, I'm right here. Whoa, holy cow. You guys see this? A D6XE with nobody in there. What's going on here? Why don't you talk to me a little bit about what's going on, uh, Mr. Pirro? Well, Sammy, this morning it was raining. I really didn't feel like going outside, so I decided to stay in this operator station. <laughs> That's a good idea. Good idea. So we want to introduce everybody our brand new uh, Cat Dozer with uh, with Cat Command. So this is our new D6XE. We'll talk a little bit about the tractor, but I also want to talk a little bit about Cat Command. This is our remote control system, uh, currently available on D8, D10, D11, and coming soon on the next gen dozer side. So, hey Jeff, you're in that station there, um, and I see a couple of lights and some stuff on top of this tractor. Why don't you talk to me a little bit about what kind of hardware we've got on here? Okay, so this machine is connected uh, wireless. So we're hooked up. Um, each machine will have an IP address, and we hook through the wireless network. Got it. So on top of the tractor here, what we've got is, is we've got a module that sits up there, and it basically fits on the top of any of the next-gen dozers. And that's going to contain the radios, the control systems we need, and obviously we've got some flashing lights up here as well to give some bystanders a, a bit of an idea of what's going on. And then you can connect either with the over-the-shoulder console or the Cat Command station that Jeff is in right now. So what do, you, what do your controls look like in that station, Jeff? Uh, how is it compared to the dozer? So you have everything you'd have in the dozer except for noise and vibration. Um, I have pitch roll meters so I can keep track of that. Uh, cause that's something that you do lose a little feel to, but you start to compensate and realize how to uh, you know, really judge by using the pitch roll meter. We also have the cat grade 3D right here. I'm just kind of knocking this pile out, just freehanding it. Uh, we'll leave that up to Bob to discuss a little bit more about auto carry and all that. Yeah, and so you've also got in there, you got some cameras in there as well too. Four cameras, front corners, straight off the nose and out the back. So you could pretty much see everything around you as well, don't you? Absolutely, it's a really nice setup. Super comfortable, nice and relaxed. Now, Jeff, you've been around in these machines and, and worked them kind of uh, around the country with some of the D8s and D10s. What sort of applications do you see customers go into when they're looking at a uh, when they're looking at a remote control system? So, Sammy, really, any place that you want to take the operator out of the equation, if you have a hazardous environment, hazardous condition, anything that sometimes job site requirements, safety regulations require that uh, an operator can't be in the cab, it's a great solution for that. Awesome. So maybe some uh, sketchy underfoot conditions. Uh, if you're working off a sensitive high wall that you know has got a crack in it, you'd put a guy in a, in a remote control, cat command remote control dozer, get that cleaned up so that uh, there's less risk to the operator. Absolutely. Absolutely. But this has enough power. I realize those guys built a really good pile right here. It's nice and tough. Nice. Well, good. Well, I tell you what, if you find a place to park that thing up, we can Absolutely. go ahead and start taking a little closer look at it. Absolutely. I'll park it right here for you. Look all right? So while, while Jeff's doing that real quick, you notice the, the, uh, the blinking blue light on there. That's kind of what we call a heartbeat. And what that means is that Jeff is connected to it with either the console or the station, and he has direct control of that machine. Now, when he wants to get, uh, you know, dis disable that and give away control of that machine, it turns solid blue. Dude, that was a perfect cue right there. It turns solid blue. That means that I can get up a little bit closer to it. I can come out here and go ahead and, and flip it over and get it into a situation where I know that nobody can get, take control of it. And that's a little switch right down here in our ground level service center. So flip that switch right there. It's gonna go ahead and kill the tractor for me. And now I'm safe to come up and, and do what we need to do around the dozer here. So, so while we're here, uh, I wanna take the opportunity at least to show you a little bit about my brand new favorite dozer. This is the D6XE. So this D6 size dozer line, this was a 35 year redesign for us. We completely redesigned this tractor from the ground up. I like to joke a little bit that the only thing that was the same between the D6T and the D6XE is the ripper shank on the back. 
When we talk about a ground level redesign, we're talking about the entire tractor frame, roller frames, final drives, cab, engine transmission, blade, C-frame, all of the electronics and hydraulic systems as well too. So we took the best tractor out there and we made it even better with the new D6 lineup. So the D6 and the D6XE, the difference between the two of them is the transmission. The D6 has a four-speed lockup clutch power shift, okay, very traditional type of transmission, efficient, very good power in that transmission, auto shift, easy to run. The XE has our electric drive transmission. So essentially, we've got the engine connected directly to a generator, and that's gonna create the electricity, sends it through an inverter, and then sends it down to the one electric motor that's down there in the, uh, in the powertrain. That does all of our forward reverse propulsion. Now for steering, we use our tried and true tested differential steering system. So independent hydraulic motor, uh, independent hydraulic pump power in that, and that does all of our steering in this tractor, which gives us excellent steering performance, very strong tractor in a turn, especially in those steering applications. So these tractors are available in a variety of, uh, of application uh, configurations, uh, three different gauge widths, th uh, two different styles of blades, choice of tools on the back, lots of options on this tractor to get it to exactly what you need for the application you're working in. So we talk a little bit about something that if you're taking a look at this machine and comparing it to a normal V-pad, one thing you might notice is, is this is a completely different C-frame up here. We took a traditional C-frame with that vertical tower, split it in half. We put half the meat on the top, half the meat on the bottom. And what that does is that gives us a stronger but lighter C-frame. Stronger and lighter up in the front end of this thing allows us to need a little less counterweight on the back. In fact, you can see how much we need back there. None. No counterweight on the back of this tractor. And it's a fantastically balanced dozer, as you'll see in a second here when Bob comes on out and uh, jumps in. So a couple other things we're working back into here as well, too. Brand new redesigned final drives, uh, brand new redesigned roller frames as well, too. These tractors, the LGP versions, are available with either an 8 or a 10 bottom roller frame. That 10 bottom roller, the 10 roller bottom, that gives you excellent uh, finish grading performance, excellent spreading performance. You can go a little bit faster, be a little bit more productive with that 10 roller bottom in there. So these tractors also have a variety of technology on them. So standard, we have several technologies such as stable blade, helps to give you a smooth grading uh, performance when you're in manual grading. We also have uh, slope indicate. Slope indicate's a simple feature, gives the operator a, a visual indication of what the slope is on the tractor while they're there doing that operation. So a nice little training tool uh, to help uh, younger operators maybe kind of feel what a 5% or a 10% slope is. So very nice in terms of that. Uh, we also, in these tractors, have an option of our cat grade with 3D, and that's our fully integrated 3D grade control. This tractor has it, so does the D3, the D5, and the D7 that you'll see out there as well, too. Now, we've also got a 2D system on these tractors, most of them. It's called Slope Assist. Slope Assist allows you to set the blade to a target slope, and what that does is it allows you to, to, to set that blade at a particular target slope that you're trying to finish off. So let's say Bob's out here and he's trying to finish this guy off at a 0% slope, nice and flat. What he can do is use slope assist to do that. Doesn't use any GPS, no base stations, no designs. Allows him to get a nice, good, uh, simple, two-dimensional type of, uh, of a slope uh, without using any of those uh, any of those other type of uh, uh, requirements in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and start talking a little bit about the cab. <laughs> Bob, come on out and we'll get ready to, to fire it up here. Brand new cab on our next gen dozers. And this is going to be the D5, D6, D7. All of these tractors have the same cab. And this guy here is our next gen cab. It's wider, it's longer, it's got more surface area in the glass, it's got significantly more uh, volume in the cab. We run all of the airflow of this on the back side, all right, up through our brand new air filter back in here, which gives us tons of life in that air filter. And what we're getting here is airflow all throughout that cab. Goes up over the headliner, down the B post, and really getting lots of airflow around that tractor to keep Bob nice and comfortable in there. So lots of good stuff in the cab. 13 different adjustments on the seat, right, Bob? So you can get it exactly where you want it there. And really helping to make this a nice, comfortable uh, office for Bob while he's out there working. So let's let him get fired up, and we'll, uh, we'll kind of get in and start taking a look at some of the different technology features in here. How's it feel in there, Bob? I got the air condition going good, so. Yeah. The, Jeff, uh, did Jeff have the air conditioner on there when he wasn't in there? It's in a nice, comfortable uh, office somewhere. So uh, one thing I will point out, uh, I talked about them lights a little bit earlier on top. They're milk control lights on that module. Notice we have a green one up there now, okay? 
So blue means that it's ready for remote. Blinking blue means that remote has control. Green means that it's back onto the cab control. And then of course there's the yellow and red light on there in case we would have a, uh, any different levels of warnings that we have out there. So. So we'll let Bob go ahead and get her fired up here. Um, a couple other things we can mention about this tractor too. The D6 and D6XE have our brand new C9.3B engine in them. So a new power plant that we put in these machines with quite a few improvements over the 9.3. Uh, it's a simpler engine. Um, it does not have a uh, EGR system. Uh, it requires depth, of course, like uh, like all of the Tier 4 final engines does. But nice, good, uh, good power plant for us and uh, pairs up really well with either the electric drive or the power shift transmission. So let's jump in. We'll talk a little bit about technology as Bob's cleaning this up here. What are we going to be using for technology in there, Bob? Yeah, let's look at the screen. The slope assist. It's our 2D system that uses a IMU sensor on the back of the blade. The uh, great thing about it, it also utilizes the auto carry feature to pick up the blade when it gets uh, too big a load. So as Bob's going along there, he can set that blade at that target slope. And then since we have auto carry, uh, which is a feature again that helps to uh, reduce track slip, what that's gonna do is, is that's gonna sense with GPS how fast the tractor is going. And it senses with the transmission sensor how fast we're trying to go. And the difference between what you're trying to do and what you're doing is track slip. And so what we can do is that we can then lift up the blade a little bit and help reduce the load on the front of that tractor, which uh, allows Bob to gather, gain traction again and uh, be ready for that next push. So Bob's using slope assist here again. Slope assist, that's our two-dimensional system. It's accessible right in the main machine monitor. So we don't have a separate monitor for that. It's really easy to get in and fire that up and use that. Uh, you can uh, either set a recall value with your slopes, which is what we call our advanced version of it, or he can just simply click the yellow button and that's gonna put him in the basic mode and allow him to just dynamically set the target uh, with his blade handle as he's working through that. So we're gonna jump in and talk a little bit about GPS here, Bob. Yeah, I'm going to go in and uh, set up a simple design. Um, you see here, I got design on the screen. It's uh, what's created at the office. Now I'm going to go with what we call a depth and slope. That's our uh, easiest system set up for the operator to see, apply that. So basically, I'm going to point the track in the direction I want the uh, design to be. You see it says bench heading required. I uh, bench that heading. Successful. Now it's going to ask me to bench my elevation. Okay, I've got that bench. So what I'm going to basically do, I'm going to create a ramp here in front of me off this pile. So it defaults to the level I spent my 10% in. Now I'm going to engage my autos and drive forward, and it should uh, drive the blade up to make a ramp. And you see I'm not using hands to run this window here. Go so back. So you're telling me, Bob, that you just created a, de a design, a flat design in that machine? You didn't you didn't put a jump drive in there? You didn't have to do anything like that? No, as long as I have the uh, GPS base station in place, I can uh, create any design, whether it be a flat or, in this case, a sloping incline or uh, a V-ditch. It's a very simple solution to uh, operate or create a temporary design on a job site. It's pretty amazing. So this is, again, the new Cat Greg with 3D system. Uh, it's got a 10-inch color touch screen that Bob's interacting with in there, and that's where he's setting up all of his settings and the design parameters and whatnot. And so the simple type of design that, uh, that he's done in there is what we call a depth and slope. So uh, pretty simple. He basically points the tractor in the direction that he wants the, uh, the flat design uh, to slope, if it were to slope. So that benches his heading. So he would basically point it uphill. And then he sets his blade tip at the appropriate uh, the appropriate elevation that he wants it to be at, and then he can go ahead and bench that elevation, and that just sets a nice, simple, flat design there. So, assuming you're kind of still running that design as you're coming around here, right, Bob? Yeah, I went back to the level, uh, the original design they've been using for uh, getting this field uh, ready for the next demo. So, pretty simple and easy for you to switch back and forth between those designs using that Cat Grade 3D. So I didn't talk a lot about the hardware involved in that, but uh, for those of you up top, pretty easy to see. Take a quick look on the back side of that cab. You're gonna see a couple of little gray domes back there. 
And what those are are our new Rugged Zephyr 3 uh, antennas that we have on the back. Yeah, you can just barely see it up there in the TV. So what that is, is that's the antenna that sits on the back side there. The receivers, there's two of them, by the way. The receivers are tucked in nice and tight right behind the seat there, uh, which is given, uh, obviously, doing all the uh, all the math for the GPS. So antennas on top, receivers right behind the uh, right behind the the, uh, the seat there. And then on the back side uh, of the cab, you can also see that yellow radio. So that yellow radio is obviously hooked up to our base station. Uh, so it's receiving those corrections and then feeding that into the system. Now. This system does uh, work off of three inertial measurement unit sensors, three IMUs. There's one of them in the body of the tractor, there's one on the C-frame, and then there's one on the back side of the blade. Now we put, we put those sensors in at the factory on all these D5, D6, D7 size dozers, all right? It's part of the ARO kit on the D1, 2, and 3, and 4. Now those sensors are mounted at the factory. You can see if you take a quick look back side of the blade there, you got a blue cable, all right? So that's the type of cabling and the type of heavy duty hydraulic hose that we use to, uh, to bolster those sensor cabling and make sure that that's gonna be good and reliable for the, uh, for the customer there. The monitor, again, 10 inch color touchscreen monitor, runs just like your cell phone, so super easy to use. Pinch to zoom, two fingers to swipe between the different, uh, the different screens, all right? One click to select, click and hold to edit. Those are the only four commands you need to know to, to know how to run this, uh, this cat grade with 3D monitor in there. Nice and smooth, Bob. Good job there. All right. So last couple things here real quick again cat grade with 3d is available on all of the small dozers all the way small and medium dozers from the d1 all the way up to the d7 either factory installed or a uh, local dealer can help you put that on aftermarket as well too so either way same hardware same software and a fantastic grade control system so to kind of finish up a little bit here uh next gen d6 again d6 xd electric drive dozer 50,000 pound size class, 215 net horsepower, uh, great control built in from the factory, brand new cab, brand new engine, new transmission in there, uh, all, new, uh, all new structures around that tractor, a really good durable machine. We're happy to uh, show it to you this afternoon. I believe we're gonna open up at 3, 3.30, right after the last demo, be able to come out and take a look at it. In the meantime, I invite you to do two things while you're here, do two things while you're here. Come on out and see us in the dozer corner, right back there in the shade, I like to say. We've got a D3, a D5, and a D7 back there, and we've got about 50 experts back there to help talk, uh, help talk you through and answer your questions and spend some time with you there. The second thing I'll encourage you to do is go into this little room over here and spend some time with Jeff Pirro and Brad and those folks and jump on those remote control units. We've got two remote control stations in there, and you can run a bulldozer in Illinois, a wheel loader in North Carolina or an excavator in Arizona with those remote control stations. And it's a really cool experience. So make sure you do that. Thanks everybody for coming in today. Great to see you all. And uh, let's give Bob a round of applause. He did a good job out there. Jeff as well too. You know what, Sam? We need to give you a round of applause too. How about that spotlight series? Very cool to see all that technology in action. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look up at our big screen, you can see our QR code for the great giveaway that we're doing here. You can take out your camera phone, go to take a picture of that, it'll send you a little link you can follow, you can check in for the Spotlight Series. You can win some cat hats, cat phones, maybe even a cat mini excavator, all following that. We're gonna be back after a quick break for Titan of the Trades with Mike Rowe. We got a whole lot more coming up this afternoon. Another demo in the dirt, as Sam said this afternoon. You get to go get up close with all our machines, check them out, and we will see you a little bit later. Texas for that Eastern sun. 